Pomio MPLS Kapavore was the first to raise concerns as to why the government has been quiet over the implementation of rural electrification projects in the country. Kapavore says after 15 months since signing the deal, there has been little to no progress made. The Pomio MP demanded answers and clarification. Because this agreement was signed on the 18th of November 2018. Second question is, can the minister confirm if this funding was released and what is the status of its implementation? The former Health and Public Service Minister says the electrification rollout project is planned to reach 70% of rural communities by 2030. According to Kapavore, not one update of the power deal is being shared with concerned electorates. Minister responsible Sassindran Mutuva responded, admitting the World Bank is still finalizing a national electrification plan. That plan is said to be released in April. But to date, uh, Mr. Speaker, there is no clarity as to uh, the development partners coming clearly as to which program they are actually funding. That is also part of uh, the reason being the World Bank is uh, concluding the monster plan that national electrification uh, rollout plan and also the least cost power strategy. Several supplementary questions were also leveled at the SOE minister. Kendrian Glosta, Kerema and Wapen Amanda MPs all spoke of electrification projects being halted in the electorates. Is the minister aware that Australia and New Zealand are responsible for the rural electrification rollout uh, in the Anger province. The SOE minister says following the agreement signed in 2018 by the previous government, only the Australian government has promised 25 million Australian dollars under its terms. Minister Mutuval says while waiting, the Marape Stephen government is committed to source power generation through the PNG LNG gas or the use of public private partnerships in establishing hydropower stations. Whichever provinces and districts have the capacity, but you can't ask me for 100% free. But if there is a generation facility in your district, and if your district or province has the capacity to offer PNG power, we are very, very keen to privatize the generation assets of PNG power so that uh, PNG power can concentrate on distribution uh, and transmission network, uh, Mr. Speaker. The National Electrification Plan signed in 2018 was to the tune of 1.7 billion US dollars. Jack Lopava Jr., National MTV News.